I gotta tell you guys, I think I'm gonna stop taking my Wednesdays off. So last Wednesday, GM drops the ZR1 teaser video. Yesterday, Tadge announces his retirement. Here's what's kind of, I'm a numbers kind of wacky guy, all right? You guys may think this is cool or just like, okay, that was like nothing. Um, Tadge retires on April 17th. You know what happened on that day? Three years ago, April 17th is when I got my first ever Corvette. That's crazy. It's almost like Zora and Prince. Did you know this? Zora died on April 16th and Prince died on April 16th, years later. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. We have a lot of Corvette things to talk about tonight, but I got to tell you, going forward, every time I walk up to my car from this view, it's going to be more to me now than it, it ever has. And that's because Taj's name is on the back of my Corvette. I'm just as bummed as you guys. We're gonna talk about that today. Also wanna talk about a new wheel company that I'm working with. I wanna give you a little update on ordering constraints. I said I wasn't gonna talk about that, but there's a new line this week, and I said that could happen too as we approach the end of 2024. So briefly, we'll talk about order constraints if you've got a new order going in for 2024. Yeah, we all knew it was coming probably sooner than we wanted it to. This is actually the hat I should be wearing today. Thanks, Taj. But real quick, let's give you an overview of his career. So Tatch started with General Motors in 1977 in the company's assembly division in Lordstown, Ohio. Now from there, he had a variety of roles with General Motors before joining the Corvette team in 1993 as the assistant chief engineer. Tatch worked on the fifth generation Corvette made between 1997 and 2004 and the sixth generation Corvette made between 2005 and 2013 while working under David Hill, who was chief engineer for Corvette at the time. Now, after launching those two Corvettes, Taj was appointed to what he described the promotion of a lifetime as executive chief engineer for Corvette in 2006. In this role, he led the development team of the seventh and eighth generation cars. The latter, the C8 Corvette, has become revolutionary for Corvette. And Taj said in a statement yesterday, it's been an honor of a lifetime to work at this company, leading the men and women who have brought to life one of the most iconic and recognizable vehicles in recent American history. Their tenacity and ability to push what is possible with every variant and generation of Corvette was inspiring to see. I know the future of the nameplate is in the right hands. One thing that stuck out to me in that statement we just read from Taj, he said their tenacity of the team. No, Taj, it was your tenacity that got it done. Thank you again, sir, for all your great works, for all your friendship, and understanding us as Corvette enthusiasts. Hey, I even got my Thanks Taj bracelet on today. And it won't be too long before we see Taj's face up there on the Corvette Museum Hall of Fame. Uh, well deserved. And don't think for a second that he's not done with C8. I think everything that he touched with C8 is yet to be seen. Everybody says, oh, the last car he did was ZR1. No, he had something to do with everything to the end of this generation, and they'll be talking about that. You know when they do those promo videos well before Taj left he did this and he did this and he said take this direction and so we did and this is the result so we're gonna see that for years to come from Taj so uh, I'm very upset and, and bummed that he's leaving uh, and respect that he has to enjoy the rest of his life because he's given so much to the brand and he's done such a wonderful job. So thank you again, Taj, for everything, man. And who knows, he might even had his hand on just saying, well, maybe try this or this or that for the C9 Corvette. Uh, that story will be unfolded and told in years to come. You guys know how passionate and how talented Taj is. Don't think for a second that he doesn't have ideas on what the direction of Corvette should be for C9. So I'm kind of curious what that's going to be uh, as we get to that point or when we get to that point. 
Now, real quick, I want to share with you guys some information about a new company that we're working with. And as you know, right here on this channel, I don't put commercials in the middle of the videos, and there's a reason for that. Number one, you can't control some of the crap that they put out there on YouTube, because when you're here, I want you to stay here. Enjoy the content, the conversations, the information, the experiences, and the fun that we're having with Corvette. But when it comes to doing business, I share with you guys companies that offer great products and services for our Corvettes. In fact, many of which I work with directly and have their items on my car. So when it comes to your Corvette, what's one of the biggest accessories? Yes, wheels. I was just referred to a wonderful company, Motorsports LA, and they have an amazing selection of wheels. And I want to talk about one line in particular, and that's Vossen. You guys have heard about Vossen wheels, and you see them all over on Corvette. And in case you didn't know, Vossen is one of the leading manufacturers in the wheel industry, and their headquarters is in Miami, Florida. Vossen does offer a variety of different wheels from its entry-level Hybrid Forge Wheel Series, the most popular for the Corvette marketplace, the HF5 and the HF7 designs. These two designs are offered for the C8 sizes, 19 by 8.5 and, and 20 by 11. They're a little bit more flush with the fender, and sizes up to 20 by 9 or 21 by 12. Now that's their Hybrid Forge. Forge series. And if you want to step it up and go fully forged, they have a Vossen Forged Design Series. It's available in optional sizes, custom offsets, custom powder coating finishes, and a whole lot more. Vossen Forged is offered in one-piece monoblock or three-piece forged. Keep in mind, these wheels are TUV verified, located in Miami, Florida. Vossen Wheels, they're one of the few companies that manufactures all their forged wheels in-house. Yes, made in the USA. Now you're probably saying, Rick, what is TUV verified? Well, that's when the wheels go through the heaviest tests to ensure the product's quality, the structural integrity, which are up to European standards. As Vossen is a worldwide brand, and they're very popular in countries like Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. And those countries, they require their wheels on the road to be TUV verified, and Vossen wheels are. MotorsportsLA.com. They even sell the wheels that are on my car, those Z06 replica for Stingray, all kinds of wheels. Check out the link in the description. Go to MotorsportsLA.com, use Conti at discount. You'll get a $200 discount on what they call free hardware, which is lug nuts to match the wheels that you buy. Once again, welcome to the channel, MotorsportsLA.com. It's great to have you guys here. And I love, oh my gosh, you guys showed these chrome Vossen wheels the other night. I'm like, holy crap, those, uh. <laughs> I love my black wheels right now. I was like, oh my God, I wanted chrome. GM didn't offer chrome. Those things are smoking hot, man. Check them out, guys. And if you get them on your car, send me a picture. We'll show them up on the beautiful ride segment that we do on Tuesday nights. Couple more things let's talk about in Corvette. You can go about your day because I got a lot to do too. Uh, let's talk ordering. I said I wasn't going to do this. So let's do it real quick. Order constraints for orders going in this cycle right now. A new constraint has popped up. Uh, GM had said the other day that the Q9i, the, one, the wheel that's causing so much controversy and because of these wheel constraints yeah you want to check out companies like motorsportsla.com uh, q9i wheel was supposed to be zero availability in fact 42 sets are available for this cycle what sucks is i got none Oh, but there's more, just a couple of more here. Uh, ordering constraints, if you're trying to order a car in this cycle for a 2024 Stingray. Non-Z51 suspensions are controlled, only 188 are in the country available. Z51 suspensions, 231. No high wings for Stingray, and here's the new one. 1LT equipment packages, now controlled, only 84 can be ordered in this cycle for the country. What is that all about? And Z06s, how about this? No constraints whatsoever if you got an allocation in this cycle. And last thing is back on doing business, selling cars. We've got a couple of cars that just arrived that are available for sale. These are cars that I started ordering for stock. And I gotta tell you guys, I know what you go through when you're ordering your car. I went through the same thing, trying to pick out stuff that eventually you may buy. But take a look at this one. The cover's not off yet, but let me tell you what it is, and you let me know how I did. It's a 24 Stingray convertible in silver flare, black interior. It's a 2LT, it's Z51 with magnetic ride control. We upgraded to the GT2 seats, 
We did Stealth Interior. We did, listen to this now. I, I love this because I think it goes great with the silver and because GM's doing a better job on it for the convertibles. The engine appearance package and you have to buy separately the silver engine cover. It's gonna go great. I can't wait for the cover to come off. You can see the little cartoon render right there, but it's gonna look great. Carbon flash, roof and nacelles on this. We did the battery protection package. We did the chrome badges on this car. We did the front lift. How about that? And the new split spoke satin graphite wheels for Stingray that were recently reduced in price, black exhaust tips, and to match the roof of the cells, I also did the carbon flash mirrors and spoiler. So how did I do, guys? Is that something that you would buy that you would proudly bring to a car show or have in your garage? All right, let me know if you're interested in that car. Information's up on the screen. We've got some more stuff coming. We still have order opportunities. Like I said the other day, we won't know until May, which is kind of weird, but we won't know until May when the cutoff is for 24 orders and when 25 starts. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for the business opportunities. Thank you. Thank you again, Taj, for everything. All I can tell you is when I go to the bash, I really hope to see him at the bash. I'm going to be bummed. No, I'll be mad. Um, I need to get a picture with Taj by my car, by my thanks Taj plate. Certainly want to get an autograph from him. Uh, it's always a pleasure and it's just so much fun listening to him talk about this car. I mean, it's so high tech, but yet we understand it. And I love that part about him. I really do. Thanks again for joining us. Support this channel if you would by subscribing and hit the bell notification. Thumbs up this video and make comments down below. We talked about a lot and I know the Taj is a soft spot, so by all means, please make some comments down below.